The following is a production of the University of Minnesota. Let me tell you what this chair really means to, to me in many respects. I grew up down in southern Arkansas, Mississippi Delta, very, very poor, and I didn't even know when I started administrating what that was. You know, nobody ever talked to me because nobody ever talked, said one word about sex. We had the highest teenage pregnancy rate in the industrialized world in Arkansas. Well, next to Mississippi. We had the greatest poverty, and everybody knows that. The greatest cause of poverty is children being born to children. And when I became Bill Clinton, I asked me to become the health director of Arkansas. I felt that what I wanted to do, the one thing I wanted to do, and I made, I said, I'll take that job if you let me be the health director. Well, you know, so often you get in these jobs and, you know, that you're just there and they tell you what they want done. But this was very critical because what I wanted to do was wanted to make a difference. For young, I was thinking black then, I'll be just real honest, because that was the young women in Arkansas that was most likely to be poor, most likely to be pregnant, most likely to be uneducated. And I was, and so I start reading all things that was put out about this and looking to see what could we do to make a real difference. And I remember, I tell everybody, I know Bill Clinton knows how to swim in jello. <laughs> because when I was, had only been a health director for three weeks, we was at a huge meeting. And I and the the media was all around. I didn't know anything about him on the media. You know, I was I was a professor at, on the university faculty. And they asked, they were asking everybody what were they wanting to do. And I said that I wanted to reduce teenage pregnancy. Well, you know, it, the next question you know from the media was, Well, Dr. Elders, how are you gonna do that? Well, well they knew I didn't know and they but I, 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 so I started naming the things I wanted to do. I said, well, we're, I want to have comprehensive health education in schools from kindergarten through 12th grade. And then the, and I said, well, I want to have school-based clinics. And I want to have, you know, we will have early childhood education. And then one of the media said, well, Dr. Elders, are you going to have uh, condoms at school? I said, well, I'm not going to put them on their lunch plate, but yeah. <laughs> well, my husband was uh, the coach. He'd been telling me about all these things that was going on at school. And so when I came home and I told him that, he looked at me, he said, sure, you didn't say that. <laughs> but anyway, that was kind of how I, but when I finished that, they turned to Bill Clinton and said, Governor, that was before I became, he said, Dr. Elder said, I looked at his face and it was a, at least as red as that dress. <laughs> and, and, his, and his remark, he says, Dr. Elders, we'd never really talked about this. But he said, Dr. Elders told me what she was about before I asked her to be the health director. And I want you to know that I support Dr. Elders. Well, listen. <laughs> I knew from that moment on that that was what we were going to have to do something about teenage pregnancy. And so we turned that health department in to all we talked about. You can see anybody on the street and they say, what's the major health problem? Or what's the major problem for the state of Arkansas? Their response was teenage pregnancy. I don't know whether it was teenage pregnancy or not. But you know, there's everybody there. to say that we, if we are going to make a difference, we've got to educate young people so they won't walk poor, ignorant, 
and slaves. If you're poor and if you aren't educated, you're a slave. And so that to me is what's most important. So I feel that I started out on the farm at the very bottom floor. I had the opportunity with a lot of help to climb up that ladder. And since that day, I feel I absolutely must send the elevator back down for all of those other young people that are trying to make it up. And to me, that's what this chair means to me. And when Eli talked to me about it, the reason why I had tears in my eyes is because I thought, I'm going to get some help to bring that elevator back up for all of those bright young people. And so if we have a chair, and I don't care where the chair is, Eli took on the handle of trying to get, get it done. But if we have somebody who's out there fighting for sexual health education for our country, and it's always there, we will make a difference. We don't have to be at the bottom of the ladder with the highest teenage pregnancy. So, so with all the help we've had, with all the pushes we've had, and I think every one of you, I know everybody in this room has made a contribution. Because mo most of you, I know you, and since we're so close, I feel if we can just get there, that as I said, I may be, but I'm going to keep on pushing until I can, and we'll get back to the top of that ladder and we'll make a difference. And that's what we have to be about. And I'm always saying we've got to deal with what I call the her principle. We've got to be honest, and we haven't been honest with a lot of our people. We've got to educate and empower them so that they can be responsible. And that's our responsibility, and that's the responsibility of this chair. Thank you for coming. Hope you hope we can make it to the top. Thank you.